Like I, I would always want to um, escape and go, go, um, go, uh, basically get high. Sometimes I want to jump off the um, bridge because she would basically. Um, I would try to fucking like. I would do drugs in a very unproductive way. You know, it, it got to the point where I was abusing certain things because, because um, so much pressure, so much pressure. Like I, I needed to be perfect for this fucking woman. And as far as I'm concerned, this woman's playing mind games with me, and it's you know, it fucking hurts to, it hurts to face that reality. But you know, it's it's just a love I felt with, for her so hard because she has saved me. She had saved me. Saving is not a word. She had saved me from my darkest, most animalistic okay, form, which really, that motherfucker will fucking kill himself and fucking laugh while he's doing it. He's crazy, and I refer to him in third person, but it is me, it's a deep, dark part of me that I have to keep in check. That motherfucker has no limitations, <laughs> and he fucking just chooses antisocial chaos for the sake of antisocial chaos. That is his raising d'etat in many ways. He's a fucking maniac. A fucking psycho. And um, he doesn't care if he hurts himself in the process of causing mayhem. He doesn't give a fuck. He finds it hilarious even, sometimes. And um, that's why I felt so hard for her. So I tried to always put all this pressure on myself to be perfect. This, all this pressure to be perfect for her and it's like I was too perfect for her to the point where she couldn't match up and I started evolving way ahead of her and I started feeling disconnected it was very weird and sad and then I felt irritable and angry and I didn't know what to do and I just lashed out but she wouldn't reach out and it's like that was very important for her to reach out to me because I needed to help her be a better version of her, and if she wasn't doing that, I was just going to continue to grow without her, and that's the situation that I would find myself in, because I would fucking, I wouldn't sleep, dude, I would not sleep, like the Energizer fucking bunny, I would not sleep, and I would, I would sometimes, I guess, I'd be well rested on three or four hours of sleep, and I'd be out fucking tap dancing the next fucking morning, dude. Literally dancing in the fucking shower for 40 fucking minutes. You know, just dancing in the fucking shower for 40 fucking minutes. Like, that kind of energy. All fucking day. No fucking, like, very, very rarely would I sleep. And it's like I put all this pressure on myself to be perfect for that woman. And it's like, it feels like she played mind games with me in many ways. And it's like, she was not open and honest like I had desired. And, uh, all of this had really caused me to fucking... Things must change. I mean, it, it, it produced an extraordinary sense of growth as an individual. I learned so much about myself in the past six months. There were some very difficult times. I really wanted to kill myself for the first three months, dude. And she doesn't even realize that. I wanted to kill myself. I was a sad little bitch. I was a sad little bitch. I was so fucking hurt. And I don't like her to know this because she'll probably feel some fucking... She'll probably smile. She'll probably laugh. I wouldn't be surprised, dude. I would not be surprised. It's like, why do I reach out to this girl? She's not what... You know, it's like... I'm being called to have trust in her. I'm being called to see... To not think like that. Because that's doubt coming into my mind. That's people's... Other people's opinion rubbing off on me. You know, they're feeling... Their skepticism... We're getting fueled towards me, and I take that on. And it's like, so I don't know if I even really believe that. Sometimes I just get confused because a man that is supposed to read someone's mind is a little fucking crazy every once in a while. And for someone to be called a narcissist, damn, it really felt like I was gaslit. And it was it was horrible, dude. It was horrible. I didn't understand why someone would devote all their time to that. You know. If that wasn't her intentions, then so be it, and I understand. But if it was, that's fucked up. And I'm in a state where I really do love her, but it's like, what are her intentions? What are her intentions? I'm being called to have faith in her. 
That's what every, that's what the fucking sources are saying. That's what the the signs are saying. Have fucking faith in it. And I will, but she doesn't understand how I feel about everything. She doesn't because I kept that under wraps. She doesn't know any of that. Things must change. 